Uh, I was thinking for a couple of months, uh, just about, uh, I really want to do a good co-op mission, but we just kept doing those co-op events and TBT events, and finally, uh, I got my hands on the original copy of Aya Drang. Then at TD, it was just what we had in armor we had to make use of here. We've got the Operation Arrowhead still from what little add-ons we've added to the UO mod pack, so it's sort of, I see it as the evolution of Madrang. And I woke up like 10 minutes before mission start, and then everyone's like, oh hey look, Militant's not here, Janus is going to lead, and I'm like, I am so hungover, I should not be doing this. Anyways, we'll hit LZ X-Ray, uh, we're going to follow Militant's uh, initial plan, which will be, uh, you know, my marker magical artwork is not nearly as good. But uh, either way, the general idea will be that one will cover north, uh, two will cover west, three will cover south, four will cover east. Uh, general diamond formation going on there. The recce squad will be sitting in the center along with platoon element. The blue dot in the very center will also be the mortars. Yeah, I had to retard like semi brief at the beginning of the mission, and then we gave, uh, uh, you know, originally we gave weapon X no, no, platoon lead, and then I briefed it and gave the initial plan so weapon could catch up on it. And then we went into mission, you know, with weapon uh, being planned to be platoon lead, and then once we got, you know, boots on ground in the LZ, then we were gonna, you know, work out what he wanted to do. I mean, when we actually move up. Yeah, Weapon was talking about how he's going to be fucking moving everything. I mean, then, like... Yeah, I mean, we'll just have to do what we have to do. Okay, so, Cheese, Acog, and Jimbo. You are my virtual butt buddies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I think that if he's going to scrap the plan, then we're just going to have to adapt, that's all. Um, yeah, okay. Hopefully he won't, though. Well, I heard Militant is really sick right now. No, I, I, I hope he's okay, because no, it's not like he's not to show up. No, I heard he was, he was in bad, bad puke in his guts. No, they, that was the just screwing around. Oh, it was? Yeah, he was just joking. No one's been able well, to was he just having, Is he having computer problems then? Because well, I know no Milton's, Milton's got a poster like, of a computer. Right? Yeah, we, yeah uh, his computer's really bad. It's worse than something mine. Something had to have happened. He wouldn't just not show up just to not do it. He's never done that before. Oh, there he is right now. There he is. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> We're starting the mission, so um, let's go and form up. We're in Death Strikes Chopper, so um, Sentry, we don't have to worry about Jimbo. You're just going to hang behind for the time being, okay? Okay, I'll see um, you guys Let's later. go onto the flight line and find our helo. Let's go. Okay. Let's just say the night uh, before involved hanging with three chicks at a closed down bar and some drinks around the house. And as soon as I spawned in there, I spawned right beside my command unit, so I had to, you know, I couldn't give down the briefing, I just had to roll with whatever was going on, and there was a whole briefing I wanted to give to uh, set up phase one and step off from phase one, and then roll into phase two, and uh, another briefing for phase two about the, uh, you know, the commander's intent about how I want that to go down. That's uh, the this uh, one. This one, this one, over here. Oh yeah, no, wait, it hey, oh, might be that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're in the far chopper. Okay, do we have our I'm gonna ammo have back and pick him up. Yeah, is there ammo crate in here, Death right? Hmm? Is there ammo crate in here? Mmm. Oh nope. Yeah, your crew chief is supposed to get your crew, crate. Yeah, your crew chief is supposed to do that. Yeah, oh, okay, right on that. Go get it. Alright, yeah, that's your um, fucking job, dude. Go get the uh, motor in here. Dark Horse 1, this is 1-1, one, one, radio check, over. Copy, Ryder. 1-1 um, one, one is loaded into the helicopter. We are leaving two men behind. We are minus one from our squad from uh, Disconnect, over. Our squad, Alpha Squad, became, or was, already tasked with being the lead helicopter on the approach to the LZ, and uh, we had no idea what was going to happen once we hit the LZ. Is this everyone in from Alpha that is going to be able to get in? Yes. Yeah, Deathstrike. Right. Uh, Edic, have you got the crate? Uh, I tried grabbing the crate and it disappeared. Brilliant. Jump in. You guys don't Whoa. get a crate. Don't oh, worry, we will manage. Oh, I took Claymores. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, guys. It, it, worst case, we can pick AKs. It's realistic. It happened. He's yeah, trying yeah. to listen comms. Alright guys, oh. shut up. I've got a flight lead this one now, so I'm the important person. Okay, can I just relay one thing to them? Yeah, do it now. 
Music on, guys. Um, guys, once we hit the LZ reaction on contact, um, we just assume we will have the position is based on the Right, too late. Escape. I've got to take so back over now. Down there, um, we're going to basically be uh, maintaining that kind of a wedge. Um, right, can you brief and fight for the second bit now? I've got to give the takeoff order. Alright guys, um, we're going to move to our defensive position, machine gun's going to stay with us, um, and uh, I couldn't tell if he wanted us to set the defensive positions yet, or if he just wanted to come around first, but I think he wants to come around first. That's correct. And we can't set them up anyway, because we don't have the crate. Guys, yeah, he, he wants to the down, the crate should be on comes on my end now. Um, so sickly, you'll make sure that you can uh, get the crate off. Crate's not in here. What? We have to have yeah, the crates. They were not at crates. There wasn't enough. There wasn't enough. We don't have an ammo crate. Yep, we're gonna have to borrow from someone else. Uh, oh, choppers shit. destroyed. We just lost a chopper. What the fuck just happened? Four. Yeah, in the beginning we had a bad experience. We had two helos knocked out with two squads with it, and that took a major blow on our tickets. But uh, ultimately the pilots were doing very good because it was pitch black and you couldn't even see the instruments in front of you, but yet they still managed to land at the LZ and drop the troops off. Approaching LZ. Copy. Alright, we're first, guys. Uh, door gonna, I've got no biz in this dock. Confirm when we're just above. Death strike, we're above it. LZ looks Yeah, clear. I can see we're above it. I just can't yeah. see much. Okay, uh, below guys. looks clear, looks clear below. Maintain clear left side, maintain 360. Clear right. You want me right. to pop a flare? Oh, we're on the incline here. This no, no flares, no flares. To jump out. Not yet, not yet. Jump skits out. Skits out, skits out. Okay, out. Face no, face no. Originally when I redid the mission, it was an early morning mission, so it started at like 4 a.m. right before sunrise, right? You'd play half an hour to get light. And there was a moon out then, so it wasn't that dark. When they said, no, 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 we want it to be a sunset mission, I switched it back. I forgot the moon only comes up midway through the evening. So, like, until like 2 or 3 a.m., it, it's fucking dark. That's how a mortal's, uh, 
artillery. That, I, I honestly I can't go here. This bush is blocking my view. Alright, we'll do. Um, okay, here. go wherever I'll go you back need to. Over here. Oh, yeah. So when we started off, um, I had one gun lay on the north side of the tree line, one gun lay on the, on the south side of the tree line. And then the first uh, WP mission comes down in the forest to our north, to our northwest, and it just fucking destroys everything. I'd say we got our defensive position set up very quickly. Uh, command landed shortly thereafter, within five minutes. I'd say militant Janus uh, started rolling around with a different ammo crate, deploying our fortifications first. Okay, a little more, a little more. Machine okay, you guys get ready for those contacts. Okay, hold there. Okay, I'm gonna start setting up bags, Militant. Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna set one up here too. Cool, that went a little further than what I wanted, but... I saw at least one, maybe two, what I thought were enemy. Just walking out there and I figured, okay, well, it's, it's gonna get started. And then we didn't see him and Militant called in artillery or whichever. And um, that was the only contacts that we saw. Thirty sandbags per box. We actually had a total of like fucking three hundred, four hundred fucking sandbags deployed, dude. I spent like the first forty minutes building like the super awesome like fob yeah, style too. thing. Yeah, me too. And then we got like three quarters of the way done, and that's when the desync hit. Yeah, and then we ran around, and that's when we shifted Odd, and we shifted Mustang Squad, and we shifted all them, so then we could go over and delete all of their bags. They took heavy casualties, so we had to go reinforce them at the western positions until the Medevac uh, During one time in the mission, the uh, artillery hit the one corner like of the bunkers there and uh, it, it totally wiped out everyone. Jesus! I got you. Need them. If you're not fucked up, get against those sandbags and defend. Don't be looking at Come on, guys. If you can actually crawl up to the walls, kneel, and start shooting, start shooting. We still need rounds down range, whether you can't walk or not. You know, technical issues aside, I think, I'm pretty sure that we kept everyone pretty busy. You know, I know, that, I know there was a lot of bitching going on, but that was just because of the technical side. But once everything smoothed out on the desync side of things, it seemed like we got them all fighting. So that, that was just my big concern. Here behind the fortifications, you die. That's a big gun. Try to get a different position over on the far left side. Maybe yeah. you might be able to see yeah. better. They're yeah, shooting up more one. flares over on that side. Yeah, hang on. We were uh, we were more of a danger to ourselves than the enemy because uh, the reason for that is there was uh, some some incidents with people throwing frags. I guess uh, somebody wanted to throw a frag far, but for whatever reason it was, the frag ended up landing right smack at their feet. So whoever was around them, they got they got fragged by the uh, the grenade that went off. As we're get your guys shifted uh, cover south.